Hey guys, Stuart here. Welcome back to another Sheetify CRM tutorial. Today, I'm excited to dive into Sheetify Flow. This is a completely free Google Workspace add-on that we created for Sheetify CRM users. Also, if you're interested in learning more about our Sheetify CRM, bookkeeping, or project management toolkit, I will add the relevant resources and tutorials down below in the description. Essentially, Sheetify Flow connects all our Sheetify toolkits together to enable automations between each of these toolkits. Kits. For example, if you have both Sheetify CRM and Sheetify Bookkeeping, you can automatically send transaction details from Sheetify CRM to Sheetify Bookkeeping. No need to copy details across to your bookkeeping template. And we have a bunch of automations that I'm going to cover in this tutorial that allows you to automate the flow of data between Sheetify CRM, Bookkeeping and Projects. Also, we're going to continually add new automations to our free Sheetify Flow add-on. So let me know down in the comments what other automations you want to see in this add-on. Okay, so let's see how to set up and use Sheetify Flow. To use Sheetify Flow, you want to have access to two or three of our templates. The majority of our automations are between the CRM and Bookkeeping Toolkit. Okay, so to install Sheetify Flow, simply open up this sidebar here. You'll notice this little sidebar panel arrow down here. Simply click it to expand the sidebar and then click on this Get Add-ons. Then navigate up here and search for Sheetify Flow. Then simply navigate down to Install. Choose the Google account that you're using. Navigate down to Continue. These are the permissions that Sheetify Flow needs in order to set up automations between your sheets. Come down, click on Allow. And just like that, Sheetify Flow has been installed. And you can find Sheetify Flow under Extensions. Let's come down and click on Done and close out of this and you might need to refresh the page. Navigate up to Extensions, and then come down to Sheetify Flow, and click on Show Sidebar. And just like that, you've installed the Sheetify Flow add-on. Okay, so I'm going to jump over to a different account that uses all three of our Sheetify toolkits, our CRM, Projects, and Bookkeeping, and demonstrate how Sheetify Flow works. And if I navigate up to the top, you can see I've got Sheetify CRM, Bookkeeping, and Projects open. Okay, so how can we use Sheetify Flow? First, we need to navigate over to settings, and down here you can see the setup video, which will link you to this video demo that you're watching now. Then navigate down to Sheetify CRM URL, and add your URL in here. Simply navigate up here, copy this, this entire URL, it doesn't matter what sheet you're on, and then go ahead and paste that in here. Then do the same with Sheetify Bookkeeping. For example, I'm going to jump over to Sheetify Bookkeeping, and then copy the URL. Again, it doesn't matter what sheet you're on inside your template, then head back, paste in the URL, and do the same with Sheetify Projects, and paste in the URL. Then simply save URLs. As you can see, URLs have been saved successfully. Now, if you only have Sheetify CRM and Bookkeeping, then just paste in those URLs. Then all we need to do is navigate down here and choose the automation type that we want to enable. I'm going to activate CRM Automations, click on Activate CRM. As you can see, individual CRM automations are ready to be set up and that's gonna redirect you to the automations page. Let's jump back over to settings and then navigate down here and you'll see activate CRM automations are activated. Basically, this means we can now activate the individual automations from our CRM to our other toolkits. Now, if we navigate down here, we also have activate bookkeeping automations. We don't have any of these at the moment, so bookkeeping to other templates. However, we've added this in here because we will add more automations down the track. Then down here, we have Activate Projects Automations. Now, in order to activate this, we need to be on the Projects template. For example, if I come down and click on Activate Projects, you'll see this notification. You need to be on Sheetify Projects to activate Projects Automation. So to do that, navigate over to your Projects template. If you have Sheetify Projects, then simply open up Sheetify Flow within this template, Show Sidebar, and then navigate over to Settings, and again, you'll see Activate CRM automations already activated, and then let's navigate down the page and click on Activate Projects. And as you can see, individual project automations are ready to be set up. Okay, so let's navigate back over to our Sheetify CRM toolkit, and then under Automations, these are the individual automations we can now set up. Let's first enable Received Purchases to Bookkeeping. Come down and click on Enable Automation. And as you can see, Received Purchase Automation enabled. And you'll see the status over here we can easily disable these automations if we like. Let's test out Receive Purchases to Bookkeeping. Within Sheetify CRM, navigate over to 
purchases and you can close this sidebar but I'll keep it open for the purpose of today's tutorial and for example let's go ahead and select this row so these are large screens that we've ordered these are screens that we sell if we navigate across we have all this information quantity purchased eight received eight as well as the unit cost and then the total cost over here then we have the vendor as well as notes over here so let's go ahead and test out receive purchases to bookkeeping I've added that note in here now to trigger this automation all automations are triggered by changing the status to received and this is a value that is fixed and you cannot change across all our templates okay so we've received this purchase order all I need to do is click here and click on received new stock received stock has been updated in inventory now let's jump over to sheetify bookkeeping and then down here you'll see the date has been added the ID the item product or service and then the amount over here as well as the notes from our CRM then all we need to do is reconcile within bookkeeping we just need to select the category cost of goods sold and the tax is automatically calculated based on the tax rate that we added inside our settings within sheetify bookkeeping and as you can see that is the first automation let's navigate back over to sheetify CRM and navigate down and enable completed transactions to bookkeeping click on OK okay so we've covered purchases when you've received a purchase order and you change the status to received that will trigger the automation and send the details to sheetify bookkeeping under expenses now let's navigate over to transactions and then navigate up here and you can see the details from orders and transactions the product or service the account name that this order is associated to SKU if any quantity then you can see the transaction status is one and then we have all these other details okay so the invoice has been paid now I want to change the status to completed now let's jump into bookkeeping again and then jump over to income and you'll see that transaction date and the date is when you triggered that automation so that's today the ID has been sent across as well as the item product service as well as the sales amount and then notes over here again all we need to do is now reconcile this transaction this was a web service and it's as simple as that that's how you can send transaction details from sheetify crm over to sheetify bookkeeping pretty cool huh let's navigate back over to sheetify crm and let's enable the next automation that we have added here completed transactions to projects and that automation has been enabled you can see the status here again you can disable any of these automations if you like now for example let's change the status to one just for the purpose of today's example and you can see all the details across here let's add test transactions to projects and you can see the ID over here okay let's navigate across and then change the status to completed so when you enable these automations the automation will trigger based on either received for purchases to bookkeeping completed for transactions to bookkeeping completed for transactions to projects and the rest are also completed this is the status trigger okay let's now jump over to projects and then within our project management toolkit and under projects you will see that project details the new project has been added the product or service is added here as well as the account name is added here you can change this if you like and then across here you can see the id which has been sent over from our crm then the project owner can start working on this project and adding tasks and managing this project okay now within projects what we want to do is navigate up to extensions sheetify flow again open sidebar and then what we want to do is navigate down here and enable these two automations from projects to bookkeeping so completed project information is sent to expenses and completed task information is sent to expenses let's first enable completed project to expenses okay and basically what this means is when a project has been completed for example if I click here assign team start date launch date which is today now if I change the status to completed again this is just a quick example then now the project details in terms of the cost of that project as well as the ID and other information is going to be sent over to our bookkeeping toolkit under expenses let's navigate over to bookkeeping and then jump over to expenses and you'll see the date ID the item product service which will actually be the project name then the total amount the total cost of that project as well as notes if you have any and again we can reconcile and maybe we have a category that we set up in settings that's called project costs example website expense and again we've reconciled that transaction now let's navigate back over to projects for example if we navigate over to tasks 
Rather than sending completed projects to expenses, let's come down and enable completed task to expenses. Click on OK. And so what I would do is disable automation for completed project to expenses, because remember we want one or the other. If we have both of these automations enabled, then there will be a duplicate of expenses. So now we just have completed task to expenses enabled. And here we have an example task over here, the project name, group and all these other relevant details. And here we have the cost for this particular task. I'm going to change this to 2000. And now when this task is completed, all I need to do is change the status to completed and the details will be sent over to bookkeeping under expenses. Let's navigate back over to expenses. And again, you can see the date, the ID of that task, the task name, item name, and then the amount, the cost of that task, as well as notes over here. And again, we can reconcile. And as you can see, it's as simple as that to use Sheetify Flow to enable specific automations between your Sheetify toolkits. Now let's navigate back over to Sheetify CRM and then navigate up here and jump over to updates. This is where you can see all updates. Now, when we make any updates, we will send an email and you will get notified. And to get those new updates, those new automations, when we add them, all you need to do is click on get new updates and that's going to delete all the triggers and automations that you've just set up within this add-on. And then all you need to do is jump into settings, add the URLs again, save those URLs, and then activate all these automations again, the ones that you want. And that's how you can get the latest version with the updated automations if you want them. Okay, let's close out of this. Now, the great thing about Sheetify Flow is once automations are set up between your different sheets, then you and your team can trigger those automations that I just showed you. Also, for example, let's say that you have your sales team as part of your CRM. You've added your team to the CRM, but you do not want to add your team to bookkeeping. The great thing is, is if your sales team trigger an automation within Sheetify CRM, for example, a completed transaction, then that data will still be sent to Sheetify bookkeeping, even if that team member is not part of Sheetify bookkeeping. The same is said for Sheetify projects. You don't have to add the same people across all templates. Pretty cool, huh? Now it's important to note that no matter what browser you're using, whether it's Safari or Chrome, you wanna make sure that you're logged in to the same Google account that you're using for your different Sheetify toolkits. However, that is everything that I wanted to cover in this Sheetify Flow tutorial, showing you how you can set up automations with our free Sheetify Flow Google Workspace add-on. Again, if you have any questions, feedback, as well as other automations you want to see, make sure to pop them down below in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you leave a like and subscribe, and that way I'll see you in the next video. Take care, everyone.